so instead of trying to figure out what was wrong with my camcorder and why it keeps dying, I just went ahead and purchased another one. Um, this one was on sale at Best Buy for $1.99. Regular price is $2.49 in my area. I don't know if the prices are the same everywhere. And sorry, I'm trying to find something to open this with. So I just thought I'd do a quick like unboxing just to kind of show you and to tell you guys why I picked this one over the other ones that I was looking at. So there's a bunch of different styles and brand names in this price range. And when I say this price range, I mean anywhere from 100 to $300 was kind of what I was looking at. I ended up picking this one because it had a really good macro zoom. And not only did it have a good macro zoom, but it was able to focus when it was in its macro mode, which what that means is um, really close up shots and it has the focus and auto adjust for that um, which is what I need for doing the nail videos that I do because I zoom in close to the glitter mixes or nail videos or whatever I'm working on so for me that was really important and the auto focus was also really important for me which this one has and then also the fact that it works in low light and it's able to adjust itself so those are all the features in the camera that I have currently that I'm using right now to record. Um, that's all the features of that one that I really like. The other thing that I really liked about this one is that it has where I can flip the viewfinder so I can see what you guys see. Um, that's one of the problems of the video uh, or the camcorder that I'm using right now is I can't see the viewfinder. It's fixed on the back. It's not movable. So when you open it, you just have a bunch of paperwork, which I'm sure all of them come with. Instruction manual, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and keep opening it. Hopefully you guys can still see that okay. Okay, so you open it up and you have the camcorder here. And then obviously I don't know very much about this camcorder being that I just recently, or I just purchased it. But what I talk about is the viewfinder, you can open it like this and then I can actually flip it so that I can see when it's pointed down at me. So it go ahead, it opens up. So aside from the camera, it comes with your USB and HDMI cables and then the battery. So this is a rechargeable battery. The batteries that I used on mine that I'm using right now are like these and they're just rechargeable double A's that you can pick up anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and move the box so I can give you guys a better view. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. So on the camera you have your um, manual open for the lens. And it's just this little piece right here. And then like I said, the th this opens up and this would, um, if it was powered on, you would be able to see a menu in the window here. And you can go through all the settings there. Now according to the reviews that I read, um, when you have it set in the highest resolution, you get about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes of record time. So for me, that works out fine. Um, if you need more time than that, you may need to upgrade to the better um, battery. So the battery just clicks in here. Just like that. And then you have your cable here to access and charge it. And then these are your different cord ports. And then down here, you have where your SD card would go. And then right here, you have where your tripod would connect. So that's it for the unboxing. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And I'm sorry if I didn't say the model earlier. It's the Sony um, CX220. And like I said, that was on sale right now at my Best Buy for $199. Regular price is $299. They do have an upgraded version of this, which has internal memory. Um, and that one was about $50 more. At my Best Buy, it was like $279, I believe it was. So I don't know if those prices are the same everywhere or not. Um, 
as I play with this, I'll maybe do another video for you guys. Um, just to show you the zoom and all that, but I don't have this plugged in yet, so. And then if you want to release the battery, you just press this here. And then that pops it out. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Like I said, I don't know too much about this particular one other than what I looked up. And like I said, when I was researching cameras, I was looking for something that had a really good macro zoom for the tight shots, something that had autofocus and that was able to focus really well in the macro mode, which just, while it's really close up, some cameras kind of get um, fuzzy and they're not quite as sharp when they get in really close. So those are the things that I was looking for. Um, I guess that's about it for the unboxing and as always, thank you guys for watching.